Hey guys, Brian here, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Desolation. Don't know why I said it like that, but I've done it now. So welcome back. In the last episode, we looted a lot of cars. We fought the Undead Mayor, which, outside of the episode, I went and did again because I wanted the head of the mayor so we could, like, make a grave or whatever. Kind of stupid, I know, but I did it anyway. So I did go and kill him a few times, which also meant Orsho. Not a word, but okay, we'll go with it. I also went ahead and um, used an anvil and put all the armor pieces that I got from fighting together. And now we have like full pieces of armor that aren't damaged or anything like that. So we can put that in the grave too. I tried fighting him loads of times because... I wanted the diamond boots he was wearing, and I must have fought him at least 15 times, maybe more, and they never dropped. Turns out, the diamond boots have Curse of Vanishing. Now, they were designed for you to be able to get them, but basically what happens is, when you kill the zombie mare, his boots don't drop because you kill him and he's got Curse of Vanishing on his boots, so they vanish when he dies. So they were designed for you to be able to get them, but you can't get them because they have Curse of Vanishing. So we've just got his head, his chest piece, his leggings, his axe, and his sword now. So, I mean, I'll take it. It's better than nothing. Now, where we last left off, obviously we did all that. We also tamed the fourth and final dog, Ang. I did go ahead and move Ang over to where our house is going to be, so then that way I just figured it was easier to do it outside of episode than in. I also went ahead and finished looting all of the cars on the highway, so I will go ahead and show you guys what we found when we get a chance. Probably not in this episode because we're looting the plane in this episode. So we've got some sugar, in quotes, of course. I wonder what that could be. And um, we've got music disc. We're gonna just move on from that. We've got some dress shoes. We have a lot of leather armor, okay? Because in all those cars, there were so many clothes, and there's gonna be so many clothes here, too. We're gonna have no room for anything anymore. I went ahead and um, turned the briefcase pieces into a briefcase. So now we have some little extra storage here and there. So we should be able to carry a lot of the stuff. We searched that. Okay, so this. We've got some phantom membrane. That would be cool because we can fix an elytra with that if we manage to get one. Which I think... Then, oh no, wait. Is there one in this plane? I honestly don't remember. But if we do, we can fix it. And also, we can make some slow falling potions if we need to. I doubt we'll need to, but if we do... We have the means to do so. So let's check this chest. Today's episode is going to be a lot of searching um, searching chests. I don't know why I can't speak today. I really don't. I try and speak so fast and then I end up messing up on my words so bad that I end up just creating new words altogether. And it's becoming nice. We will have to sleep soon. Not just yet though. But yeah, so apparently I like to make up my own words, because why not, I suppose? Trop I hope we got a trop hat. See, this is what I mean. We have a trop hat. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what, what to say about that. I, I, I really don't. I'm just, it's, it's ridiculous. I don't know how much I mess up on my words. It's crazy, to be fair. Is it, I'm not used to making these kind of videos. I'm obviously used to being in character in Crafting Dead and in Fear the Crafting Dead. So, you know, it's it's a little bit strange for me to just be talking just to you guys, I suppose. Because I don't really do that much, only ever in update videos and things like that, really. And that's, that's about it. So, other than that, we don't really... Mate, I don't really make videos like this too often. So... What I'm going to say, actually, is at the time of this recording, I am um, actually, the third episode, I believe it was, actually went out today. So, I'm really far ahead, and you guys will start to notice this soon. And I basically, I read some of the comments, and 
one of the comments actually came from um someone called Sil um called Luna the Wolflin. I don't know I'm I'm messing up on my words here. Luna the Wolflin. And basically she mentioned something about um a zombie chasing after me called Hero. Basically, Luna the Wolflin is a friend of mine and we on my realm a little while ago we played on a skyblock world together and we basically got a um a pet i would say it, i wouldn't say a pet but we basically got a pet husk and a pet zombie and we named them hero and sora we're gonna take this toilet roll because we're gonna make a toilet at some point in our house or outside of our house same thing pretty much we'll make an outhouse or something like that so yeah, like I was saying, we basically had pet zombies and a pet husk as well. So we basically, I don't think there's anything in these ones, no good. So basically, that's what she meant by that comment. She asked if I could explain it, so I decided, yeah, why not? Let's explain it so you guys weren't confused. So that's what she meant, and I might end up um, actually getting them in this world as well. Maybe we can get a uh, friend husk or a friend zombie and just name them something. I'm gonna try and cure a zombie villager. That's a goal for this series. We're gonna take some of these because I want to use some sea pickles in my house, I think. Not for, like, the design, but for, like, decoration and, um, kind of like, they kind of look like cups, I guess. They don't really, but they kind of do at the same time. I'm gonna use them for cups anyway because they're probably the closest thing and, um, also, um, what they called flower pots. Don't know why I forgot that, but that's the word I was looking for. Also, flower pots can look kind of good as pots, but uh, it's it's just easier to use sea pickles because you can place multiple on one block. You can get like up to four, I believe it is. You can get up to four sea pickles on one little square. So it's kind of useful. Then it could be like we've got like four or five cups. You know, not five because you can't get five. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. You can get four cups to make it look like cups. I don't know where I'm going with this, if you couldn't tell already. So we're going to continue looking. I believe there's nothing else up here, and the next place to look is going to be out here and down on the bottom. It's a flipped over car over there. Yeah, all of these chests. So we are in for a great time, it looks. So what's in here? We've got a book. Okay, we'll read that in a second. And we also have um, a, another car, by the looks of it. There's more cars down there, too. I stood on a pressure plate. Don't know if that does anything. More clothes. We are going to go down there as well. I did find more books as well while I was searching the cars. Are we on the right side? Yeah, we are. There's just cars leading out. Wow, there are more cars. Oh, boy. More cars with more clothes for me to search. Great. Okay. I'm going to do that outside of episode because I'm not doing that in this episode. It will take too long. So we're going to read this book. It is called Stop the Kicking. So let's read this. If that kid behind me doesn't stop kicking my seat, I swear I'll complain about it. I don't care how old he is. If his parents won't teach him not to do that, someone ought to. Fair enough. You just got a guy who's getting his seat kicked by a kid. Fair enough. I think it's fair. I've never actually been on a plane. Fun fact about me. And I basically, I, f I think it's fair enough to complain that someone's kicking your chair. I mean, if you're going to be sat on that plane for hours trying to get to a place, you don't really want to be sat there getting kicked by a child the entire way. I mean, I think that's just fair enough. You know, I don't think... I don't think that's asking too much. So, let's go through all this. We're not going to take anything. or oh, we will, but not in the video. We're just going to open them all so I can show you guys what's in them. Maybe find something good here and there. We can't open these ones on the sides by the looks of it. So, we're just going to go through the ones that we can open. That one's empty. That's also empty. There's a lot of clothes by the looks of it. There was an arrow. An arrow of leaping. But in order for that to work, we'd have to shoot ourselves. There's iron boots better than what we've got, so we'll probably put them on in the next episode. So we're just going to really, it's going to be a lot of just opening chests, a lot of repeating like it was last episode, but hopefully we might find something good. Outside of the episode, I went and I found 
the um I found the leads I was looking for. <laughs> so, you know, I managed to use them to get um to get Ang back. So we're gonna read this book. If we come across any books, we'll read them. So this one is called what was it called? Um Atlas Airfleet. Okay. Atlas better be as nice as I've heard. Not really a fan of this plane, so I guess anywhere is better. But still, I've heard that the, that that city is developing an air fleet of some kind. Not good news for someone like me who hates that idea. Fingers crossed that that's just a rumor. Okay. Not too sure what they mean by that, but some kind of air fleet? We've got another piece of briefcase. We're going to put these books in here and we're going to take that briefcase piece. So that means we can make a second briefcase. So I did go ahead and dye the briefcase. We've got brown as well. I managed to find some cocoa beans. We've got another book. Okay, let's read this then. It's called Down by Twilight. This flight is unbearable. Nobody believes me. There's a thing on the plane. It seemed to be taking apart the plane's wing. I'm not crazy. If this flight goes down, this letter will prove that I was right. Right? Well, looks like the guy was right because this plane definitely did go down. So, we're going to go ahead and go for all these. We've got an iron hoe. That'll be good for some farming. There's just a lot of chests to go through, really, and it's going to be very repetitive. I apologize. What was on this? Sweeping edge free? Not bad. We've got a bedroll by the looks of it. So, yeah, not bad at all. Got a golden axe. There's not really much. It's mostly clothes, which really is to be expected, considering there were a lot of people traveling on this plane. We've got a shield. Another shield. We're using the presidential shield at the minute still. So, that's pretty cool. We are going to... Oh, we've got another book. The Damn Snakes. Now, my brother read this book, so I actually... I know what it says. So, if you guys get this reference, you get it. If you don't, I'll explain it. But, this is what it says. I have had it with these mother effing snakes on this mother effing plane. Everybody strap in. I'm about to open some effing windows. Snakes on a plane. If you guys didn't get that reference, it's from that movie. So, or I believe that's what it's called anyway. Snakes on a plane. Sounds about right, doesn't it? Really. So, that's what that book... I, I like all the little references on this map, and that is the word I have been looking for every time I've spoke about it. References. I don't know why that is so hard to remember for me. There's a key in there, that's pretty cool, we'll grab that later. So yeah, references. That's the word I keep looking for but can't seem to remember. So, there, like I was saying, there are so many references. There's been references to Breaking Bad, there's been references to the United States ex-president, Barack Obama. There was also what, um, there's also a, I believe it was a reference to, um, who was it? Um, Leon Kennedy from, um, Resident Evil, I believe it is. I'm pretty sure it's Resident Evil. But we've got another book here, it's called Not a Pilot. I keep telling people that we need a new pilot, or I'm going to fly this bird. But all I get is a bunch of Jack mm, calling me Shirley. Okay. Rather random. Maybe that's another reference that I just don't get. We've got an enchanting table. I'm glad we found that, because we're definitely going to need it. We've got some lapis, we've got some more glass. Man, this has taken a while. We're already 13 minutes into this episode, so let's see... Anything good, more bed rolls, more books, which are going to come in handy for when we make our enchantment table. So, more stuff, more stuff, and a car jack. Nice. Well, doesn't look like there's too much in the ways of good things in this plane. It seemed to be mostly just um, clothes, to be fair. So, we're going to keep... We're going to go down here, and we're going to have a look... I suppose that bit sounded quite delayed, where I said we're going to come down here, and I was already down here. I wasn't delayed. Yeah, the video wasn't delayed. I was just lagging behind in my speech, basically. So that's all it was, really. So we're going to come in here, and it seems like it's quite dark down here. I would rather not let any zombies spawn, because I'm pretty sure that they do spawn down here. But we're going to jump on up here if we can. There we go. And see what's in this chest. We've got some beetroot and we've got some apples. We'll take the apples. Um, anything else? 
not here by the looks of it. Anything up here? Probably. Suppose we can take a look. There's some chests. Some golden champagne. A hoe. Some sticks. Some more champagne for experience, of course. Gonna check this. Empty. A golden hoe. Empty. And empty. Okay, so not much. Or not too much, anyway. It's starting to become night, so we will have to sleep again, but we'll search these chests. We've got an emerald and a map. Got some arrows and some trap doors. Another emerald. It's quite a bit of stuff here. We've got another emerald. Um, another key and another emerald. A backpack and a key, so we've got three shulker boxes now. That's pretty cool. Another emerald. Not too sure what these emeralds are all about. Pilot's dagger. A damaged anvil. Any chests over here that I'm missing? Doesn't seem like it. Or if there is, I can't find any. We are going to take... Oh, it's a skull. I thought it was a computer, to be fair, because I am looking for a computer head, which I know are on this map, I just don't remember where. And it's starting to become night, so we're going to have to sleep soon, or right now, actually. So we're going to sleep as fast as we can and hopefully not die, and then we'll wake up in the morning and I will end this episode here because I think my phone is ringing so I'm gonna get have to get back to whoever it was that was ringing so okay well I'm gonna end this episode here I know we didn't exactly do much we just explored a little bit but if you guys did enjoy this episode or are enjoying this series in general make sure you stick around for the next one which will be out very very soon and I will see you all in the next video goodbye